Well, hello. Uh, we've got uh, an interesting topic to cover today. It's eczema, but there's some related things we're going to talk about as well. I have a um, email here. Uh, we're going to call from someone we're going to call Stan. And I want to read this to you. By the way, if if you don't know what eczema is, it's, um, for lack of a better term, it's a very serious, a very serious rash. Um, it, it gets on the hands and parts of the body, and it gets very itchy and, and um, painful and so on. Well, here's what Stan has to say about that. I'm going to read this to you first, but after we read this, we're going to talk about eczema, its causes, and, and an approach for it. Okay. So he says, Dear Gary, I have the worst pain from my eczema. I am living with pain every day. It's so severe that I haven't even been able to go out of the house for over a year now. Literally, everything imaginable irritates my body. Detergents, perfume, smoke, ink, even my own spit and sweat are irritating. I am really getting tired of living like this anymore. Well, okay. Severe case of eczema. Now he goes on. And what he's what he's talking about here is going to is really pointing to the cause of these things. But let me let me do something first. I'm going to talk about cause for a moment. Let me shift over here to something. I oftentimes, when people say, "Well, I've got a, a so and so ailment, whatever it may be, eczema in this case," I will go to the internet to one of these large. Um, medically oriented websites that talk all about all these different diseases. One of them is WebMD. Uh, another one is the National Institutes of Health. Uh, another one is the Mayo Clinic, but they all tend to say the same thing. And what I wanna do is show you here what, the, what WebMD says about eczema, okay. Doctors don't know exactly what causes eczema, okay. Well, I, we see that kind of thing with great regularity. Um, uh, for, for just about every disease you can name, the cause isn't really known, at least not at least by the medical profession. But let's go on with Stan's letter because he points to the cause, and we're going to expand on this as this video continues. I had a really rough childhood, particularly due to my mother. She has been very difficult to live with. She was always mad at my father, and I, uh, always mad at my father and I, Always shouting, always angry, she made our lives miserable. He also goes on to say, she also blamed everything on me. And then says, insightfully, I think, I think this is the biggest reason why I got my disease now. I have so many unresolved issues. Well, all right, let's talk about that for a moment. I often say this on this videos, but let me repeat it here. It's really important. I've asked many doctors. I have never gotten a doctor to disagree with what I'm going to tell you now. And that is when we are having negative emotions, anger, grief, guilt, fear, resentment, and, and the like, our system creates a literal cascade of um, negative chemistry. That's my term in the body. Cortisol goes out of balance. Adrenaline goes out of balance. Hundreds of chemical reactions, repair mechanisms, and so on get compromised in the system as a result of these negative type emotions. Well, and this happens whether we're doing it consciously, we're really angry about something right now, okay, or subconsciously where it's just kind of kicking around in the background. And your immune system has to go do something with that. If it doesn't, you're in big trouble. So it does. That's what the immune system does. But it can only do so much. And as that kind of stuff requires the immune system's attention, other, I mean, the immune system then cannot take care of everything going on in our system. And so we manifest diseases of various kinds, including eczema in this case. But in my experience, just about every disease you can possibly name, this kind of cause is in the background. And doctors recognize that. 
Yes, they'll say yes, yes, yes. They just don't know what to do about it. Right. And with our optimal EFT, um, we have solutions for those things, and we're going to discuss that as as this unfolds. So let me let me take take a look here here at my notes. Um, okay, so the the cause that we're looking at here is unresolved emotional issues, and here. He's already told us there's lots of things about his mother. Now, one important thing to recognize here, and, the, and those of you who are well-trained in optimal EFT will recognize this immediately. It's not what mother did, said, and all of that. It, it seems that way, yes. The real issue here is Stan's response to that. Does he just go, oh, that's just ma? And he doesn't really doesn't really get to him, or does it get to him and say, "Oh, there's something wrong with me. I don't count. I'm I'm not good enough. I'm I'm not lovable. I'm I'm, I'm I've got to achieve. I've got to ah ah. You know, this is likely. This is most likely Stan's response, and his body is paying for it by manifesting eczema. Now. What we can do and what, what optimal EFT and the unseen therapist does really, really well once we learn how to do it and we get well trained and do it well is to dig in, find these emotional issues and resolve them to bring peace where there was turmoil. It allows the system not to create all this negative chemistry. It frees up the it frees up the immune system to do what it's supposed to do naturally anyway. Uh, so rather than, than treat it with symptoms like drugs and salves and medications and other things, we get down to, which are symptom related, we get down to the cause of it, create peace in the system. Mother's going to do what mother's going to do. Okay. Mother has her own unrest in, in something like this. She's exhibiting it. She's trying to do something with it. She's criticizing and um, um, doing damage that perhaps she's not even aware of. But Stan is on the other end of it. And until he gets to the point where he can go, you know, that's mom's issue. It really is. Not just, you know, academically in the head someplace, but literally own it. Own it. Yeah, that's, it's mom's issue. I don't have to get involved in it. She's going to do what she's going to do. That's okay. Again, we're not talking about an academic thing. We're talking about getting down to really resolving it and owning it. And that's what we do. Okay. One of the things I like to say in what optimal EFT is, is what we do is recognize first that love, spiritual love, the ultimate love, peace within our system is the ultimate healer because it allows us to have things heal naturally and normally. What we do with optimal EFT and the unseen therapist is to remove the barriers to the awareness of love's presence. Now, all these angers and griefs and guilts and things that stand and all of us collect, by the way, our versions of it. But these things that Stan is carrying around is likely contributing to, if not majorly causing, if not the cause of his eczema. Aim at cause, and the symptoms have no reason to be. Interesting idea. Yes, but we've seen it work over and over and over again for just about every ailment you can name so anyway that's it for that's it for this episode uh, we'll uh, see you next time mm -hmm.